Whether you decided to trade cryptocurrencies and go all in, or you are simply a beginner who wants to buy some tokens and hold waiting for them to explode, you will need a crypto wallet to store your cryptocurrencies. Actually, a crypto wallet doesn't store your cryptocurrencies at all. It just stores your public and private keys and use them to sign transactions. If you are confused and don't know what that means, watch this video where we will explain what is a crypto wallet and how it really works. What are the public and private keys, the different types of crypto wallets, and what is the best type to choose according to your specific use case? Keep in mind that this video is by no means a financial or an investment advice. A crypto wallet is a digital wallet that allows you to store, trade, send, and receive any cryptocurrencies you own like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, just like your traditional wallet that allows you to store your cash. Crypto wallets can be in the form of a software you run on your computer or smartphone, a browser extension, or in the form of a physical device. A common misunderstanding here is that many people think that cryptocurrencies you own are stored inside your wallet. Crypto wallets only generate and store two important pieces of information, your public key and your private key. The public key is your wallet address, which you can give to people to send you money. It is like your bank account number or your PayPal email address. You can share it safely with other people to get paid. The private key, on the other hand, is like the pin to your debit card or your password for your PayPal account. You should always keep it private, and if you share it with anyone, he can control and spend all your money. So, if you lose your private key, you basically lose your money. You no longer can access your wallet, spend, or transfer any money from it. A private key is like your digital signature you use to sign or approve transactions from your wallet. You can create multiple public keys linked to the same private key. Also, you can recover a public key if you have the private key, but it is impossible for someone to generate your private key using your public key. Another term you should understand is your wallet address, which is the shortened version of your public key. And this is the most widely used format of the public key today. Now, let's move on to the different types of crypto wallets. Generally, crypto wallets are categorized into hot wallets and cold wallets. Hot wallets, also called software wallets, are wallets connected to the internet. Some common hot wallet forms include desktop and mobile applications like Exodus Wallet, browser extensions like MetaMask, and web wallets you get when you create an account on an exchange platform like Coinbase and Binance. Hot wallets are very popular among crypto beginners, as they are free, easy to set up and use, and make your crypto easily accessible if you need them to trade or to make a purchase. In hot wallets, your private keys are stored in the app itself, which is connected to the internet, to allow you to make crypto transactions with the clicks of a few buttons on your phone or on your computer. In the case of using exchange wallets, your private keys are stored on the exchange's databases, and you don't get access to them at any time. You just get your username and password which allow you to log into the exchange and manage your crypto. However, there is a saying that is well known in the crypto world that says, not your keys, not your crypto. Which that means is that if you don't know and own your private key, you don't own your crypto. While hot wallets are free and very easy to use, there is still the threat of digital hacks. When you keep your private key stored in an application on your computer or smartphone, you need to make sure they are free from malicious software that may expose your private key online. If you keep your crypto in an exchange wallet and this exchange was attacked by hackers and data was stolen, there is a possibility that you lose all your stored crypto. This happened in 2020 when Qcoin, the fifth largest crypto exchange was attacked and the hackers succeeded in stealing more than 200 million US dollars. Thankfully, the exchange refunded its users their money and they were able to invalidate the stolen tokens. So it is advised not to keep large amounts of crypto in hot wallets. 
Just keep what you need for your everyday trading and transactions. You can treat your hot wallet the same way you treat your traditional wallet. Just keep what you will need to use. Cold wallets, on the other hand, are offline crypto wallets that store your private keys securely away from the internet and away from the risk of cyber attacks. Cold wallets often take the form of hardware devices or paper. A paper wallet is when you write down your public and private keys in a piece of paper. This paper is then kept in a safe place, as if this paper gets lost or destroyed, you lose all your money, which makes paper wallets not a convenient option for safely storing your crypto. A hardware wallet is a physical device that often has the shape of a USB stick. Hardware wallets are the most secure type of crypto wallets you can use. It stores your public and private key locally, and you only plug it into your computer only when you want to approve a transaction. With these devices, you set a PIN code that needs to be entered every time you want to make a transaction to prevent unwanted access to your money if someone stole the device from you. Also, you have what is known as a seed phrase. This is a 24-word sentence that is used as a backup for your private key. If you forgot your PIN or even if you have lost your hardware device, you can use the seed phrase on a new device to restore your private key and your crypto. The only way you can lose your money with hardware wallets is when you lose your device and your seed phrase. When it comes to the drawbacks of hardware wallets, we have their price and their convenience compared to the hot wallets. Most hardware wallets will cost you from $50 to $200, while most hot wallets are free. Also, it is much easier to use hot wallets compared to the cold wallets. But still, the security of your private keys in the hardware wallets is unmatched in any hot wallet you can use. So, which wallet you should use? Well, that depends on your case. If you will use the wallet to store a few hundred dollars in crypto, you can use the exchange wallet provided to you when you buy your crypto, or you can move them to another software wallet like Exodus or MetaMask. If you are going to trade cryptocurrencies in large amounts, you can keep a small amount on your exchange wallet for quick trading and purchases and move the rest to another software or hardware wallet. And if you are going to buy some crypto and hold them for a long term, then hardware wallets are the most suitable choice for you. Always make sure to do your research before you make any decision, especially in the crypto world. At the end of this video, we hope that you learned what you need to know about crypto wallets. And if you liked our video, give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new videos. Thanks for watching.